Now you're engaged. Yeah. It's official. It's official. What made you take that step? I just wanted to be a better person, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I just wanted to look at my lady and say, you know what I'm saying, this is who I really am, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good guy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no bad guy when it comes to no female, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Some of the gangsters and the homies that done been in the trenches with me, they might be like, man, he a swooper, man. He be, you know what I'm saying? He getting niggas, man. Or, he, he, a, he a fighter, you know what I'm saying? But now it's just, it's all about the ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? And my lady, you know what I'm saying? She got to be protected. You know what I'm saying? She got to, she has some security. You know what I'm saying? She got to have a man in her house. You know what I'm saying? She ain't taking out the trash I am. You know what I'm saying? She cooking. You feel me? That's what she doing. What if she wanted you to cook and her to take out the trash? I would never let her take out the trash, but if she wanted me to cook, and she needed the trash to be out of our cook and take out the trash. Now, how long have you guys been a couple for? Me, dating for? Me and Bam been a couple for four years now. You know what I'm saying? Now, you've had other relationships before. Yep. Have you had relationships last that long? Four years? I've had relationships that last longer than that. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Um, so why put a, a ring on someone's finger now? I you, feel in I, a shorter span of dating somebody. I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like Bam is like, is like the... She's the one I love right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's the one I've been loving for years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, she's the one that come through when nobody comes through and you feel like God sent her. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And when you ain't got nothing, she still want to fuck with you. When, when your talent look like it ain't being as on the broad as it usually is, she fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like, you know, she fuck with my kid. She love my kid. She love me. I'm around with it. You know what I'm saying? And the day that that shit don't happen, I ain't around with it. So let me ask you this. Um, you're getting older. Yeah. Do you feel like it's a timetable for you? Do you feel pressured to get engaged or to walk down the aisle with somebody? Like... Yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like it's a real pressure because I want to live my life at the same time I want to live real life, you know what I'm saying? And my life is to have it the way I've always dreamed and a fairy tale, you know what I'm saying? And real life is what you get and what it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? And you got to just understand that everything ain't laugh, laughs and joy. Some shit is going to be... You know what I'm saying? Pain. You know what I'm saying? And it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You gonna die? You gonna live? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to live. Live all this shit. You know what I'm talking about? Let's live life. Now, what are some words of advice to somebody thinking about getting engaged themselves, popping the question to somebody themselves, uh, listening to you, knowing your background, knowing your story, or even just seeing this for the first time? They're indecisive. They don't know if it's the right time. They don't know if they should or they shouldn't. Um, what's? How do you know? What do you tell somebody? I'm gonna tell when they're on that brink. They're on the cusp. Should I? Should I not? You gonna know. You gonna know. And if if you do the wrong thing, just know God don't make mistakes. Maybe that's a learning lesson for you. You know what I'm saying? But it can be the person that you want. And then not be the person that God want for you. So it's fucked over still. You know what I'm saying? She she or he still gonna move on. You know what I'm saying? I just tell them like this. Let God, you know what I'm saying, make the path. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe in God, look at the person for who they are and not what you want them to be. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at the person for who they are, you will know that that's who they always going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't create nothing in your head thinking that I can change a person. Always look at it like I can add on to the person. You know what I'm saying? You're an add-on. You're a fucking add-on. If everybody's born by themselves, I don't give a fuck if you're a Siamese twin or you stuck together. One of y'all got to come out first. I don't give a fuck that science. You know what I'm saying? So you know you're going to come in... By yourself, you won't die by yourself. But at the whole time, be loving and respectful, my nigga. Be real G with that shit. Now, okay, 
What about this? What about the person, like you said, it fits their, uh, it fits what they're looking for. They feel like it's right, but let's say their family doesn't feel like it's right. How, do, how does one navigate through that situation? And I've been through that situation before where the family ain't Except, with Yeah, they're not accepting the person that you the, love the, 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 or the, you want to get engaged Exactly. The, the, the family ain't accepting the person that who you love. Like, And sometimes the family see the right shit that they supposed to see that make them feel like that, and sometimes they just overprotective. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just feel like it's, you know... Say it, say it, put the question again. How would you, okay, you, we initially talked about the advice you were giving yeah. for somebody on the brink. Should yeah. they ask to get engaged to somebody or should they not? They're right. indecisive. Right. Let's say they want to make that decision mm -hmm. to get engaged to that person, right. but their family is not supporting that decision. And see, the family always see either the outer side of a person or they see the fake side of a person. So if a family see the real, some real shit that they like, then they gonna go with it. If a person, if your family see the fake shit of the person, they gonna be like, nah, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with that because they see the turmoil in it. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how the person is, man. The family feed off that shit like vampires feed off fear. You feel me? And blood and all that crazy shit. Like family, they they know when the motherfucker ain't right for you, especially your mom and your daddy. But let's say the person's heart, because that's what you told yeah. in, the, in your initial advice. Yeah. Follow your heart, follow God's feeling, and, and so but on. But how do you know who's talking to you? You know what I'm saying? How do you know it's God talking to you? How do you know it's heart, your heart talking to you? How do you don't know is is it, it might be, um, you might just be intrigued in the person. What, what's it called? You might, you might have some... Um, What's the shit when you really uh, you really want a person is uh, and you're looking at their body and lust. shit? Lust. Lust. It could be lust. Telling you, speaking in your ear and your mind, go get it. That's for you. That's for you. That's <laughs> for you. But your family see totally different. You know what I'm saying? You see totally different. But you're listening. You have an inner ear. Everybody got to always understand that you have an inner ear. And that motherfucker can tell you some amazing shit. So what should a person do? Their heart or whatever says they should get engaged, but their family says, chill out. Follow your heart. Because even if you follow your heart and it ain't right, at least you know you did what your heart told you to do. And next time you don't got to go that way. Now, okay, you guys are both in the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. You and Bam. Are fans respectful of your relationship with your... Fans are always Partner. respectful. Fans are always respectful to the relationship that me and Bam have. At first, they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But now that they are, you know what I'm saying, which takes work because they always, fo you know, sometimes fans focus on the last woman that was around or the last man that was around. You know, I just showed them straight up that she's the one. You know what I'm saying? She is the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, I gave it up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? And I... I, I, I feel like I take pride in that because I always took pride in being the fucked up nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I am the, I was the, fuck, the fucked up nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Now, do you take her on the road with you? Sometimes I take her on the road with me. Sometimes I take her on the road with when I, I just feel like some, sometimes it's like needed. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, now she gonna call me a problem on the road, and I feel like she gonna call me a problem. I don't take her. I be like, man, I'm gone. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But if I feel like she, you know, cause Bam, she can hold her own, man. Like she real. She, you know, sometimes, you know, she got flaws like everybody, else, but she real and she, she fuck. She, she understand where I'm coming from.